I still get out running, but like, oh, fucking race car get out running. Jesus Christ. All right, so today's the day we're going to find out what the baddest fox body is around, at least with, as far as what we got, anyway. Yeah. So we got Andrew's car over here against Berger's car. And possibly, if I feel like it later on, we'll take the retro out and run the white, the red car against the white car. That's what Berger really wants to do. He wants to skin me up so he can embarrass me on camera on my own channel. We also, we got a set of drag radials over here that came off of Andrew's car. And Bart, you don't want to put them on, y'all. You know why? Tell them why. Oh, my wheels mix match. So Andrew's got to get his, you know, clean. And put them radios on yours and put them on mine. Oh, now that don't even make that no don't sense. Make, yours don't need these slicks. Ooh. Well, it be chrome on chrome. <laughs> Hold on. Back up. Did you just hear what he said? That's fine. He said, your car don't even need those slits. Hell, this one don't need it, really. So before we get started, I want to give you guys a quick rundown. We're not going to pop the hood on Andrew's car because he's real, like, it's dirty under there. He don't want y'all to see it. I'll go back and try to find an old video of it. All right, what this is is a stock bottom end, original engine that came in this car. GT40 P heads, ported, home ported. Uh, how much of a shot are you running today? Uh, 175. 175 shot, B cam. I face plated TKO 355 gears that's about it y'all I mean we could we could go further into detail but it's carbureted with a 650 on it Berger's car is I would tell you it's basically a stock bottom end but it's the most expensive stock bottom end <laughs> so it's a 308 in this car that's got a shit ton of money in it because you know he just throws money around like that and was like hey what I want the baddest stock bottom end car <laughs> No, nah, but it's a 308. Um, it's got a badass set of trick flow. I don't really know what these are. I think these are the track heat heads from way back. We've done a video on it. Um, it's very hard to pinpoint exactly what these heads are. They've been uh, sent to Fox late back in the day, uh, ported out. It's got a GT40 lower with a Downs intake, um, supercharged, 10 pounds of boost. It's like a 555 lift. Uh, comp cam in the car 355 gears stock t5 uh i'm gonna be honest with you and this is this is real talk we've all talked about this the nitrous car is gonna hit quick it's gonna hit hard andrew's car is no joke on nitrous um so here's how i think it's gonna have to go if berger gets out on andrew i don't think andrew's gonna run him down if andrew gets out on him he ain't gonna run him down so it's whoever race is gonna be made in the first season of the book. yep so whoever gets out first, I believe, is going to hold the ground. So on a 125 shot, this car made 440. Um, now it's on a 175, so it's going to be right around 500 horsepower to the tires. Um, his car should, there again, be around 500 to the tires. One other thing with his car is this. I think this may have been what was holding this car back. So this is the inside of this filter, and this is after it's been cleaned. This thing is extremely dense and I don't think it's flowing very good. So he went today and picked up a new filter and look at the difference. You guys see that? Big difference there. More filter and it's gonna flow better. Um, I think that that is gonna make all the difference in the world on this car, if it doesn't go lean. Berger, what you loading up? That Kill Andrew tune? Yeah. He's at the top of what these injectors can do. So we got a set of 80s in there. If it survives the night, we'll probably go ahead and plan on putting those 80s in this car. And we've got a nitrous bottle over here. This will be the first bottle that we filled, I think, uh, from our own nitrous station, right? Huh? Isn't this the first bottle that we filled from our filling yeah, station? Actually, yeah. So that's cool. I know everybody's gonna say, oh, roll racing. I don't wanna hear it, okay? We drag race too, we dig race, but sometimes you just wanna see how your car stacks up. So, Berger wants to see how his car stacks up to the black car and the red car. The best way to do that, to see if you got the power, is just go from a roll. So we're gonna do a third gear roll and see where the cars stand. Now, things may change after that. Then, you know, if we come back and we race again later on at some point, you know, we can, he's got a set of drag radials, but they're not on the car. 
at that point, he can, you know, start going from first and second and maybe even a dig. Who knows? But for right now, we just want to see where the power, like what the power difference is between the two cars. First off, I want to apologize that we don't have the uh, the best footage. We forgot the GoPro, uh, and they don't really want to do but one race. But yeah, but regardless of all that, y'all, we got to give some credit to this car right here. The white car was that was impressive because I'm gonna tell you, you don't come out there half stepping with Andrew's car, and the fact that it was close is very, very impressive. So uh, I think it was what about a car? You said you was right at his bumper. Yeah. I mean, you pretty good with that, though. I mean, that yeah. would make you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> I would be happy with that. Yeah. Um, I figured it going to be a lot more than that. Yeah, that is extremely good. So, uh, I guess we got the bugs worked out of this one. Yeah. Uh, man, it, it ran phenomenal. You got to understand, Andrew's car is on nitrous. It's going to hit hard. It's going to hit right now. So, the fact that, that he was – I'm, I'm just blown away, man. That was a badass race. Um you know, you could argue, well, what about first? What about second? We get it, but we're just trying to test the power difference in between the two cars. And uh, damn white car really impressed me because I saw Andrew's car squat and soot come out. And I said, oh, shit, because I've seen that sight a lot. Yeah. I'm like, all right, she's humping. She's gone. And I look up, and that damn white car is right beside him. I said, look at this shit. <laughs> so, yeah, man, I'm, I'm impressed. This car's come a long way, Michael. You are to be very proud. Oh, yeah. Y'all, that's really all we wanted to do today. Uh, sorry if I overhyped this video, but uh, sometimes it's just that way. There's a lot of traffic out right now, and none of us can afford to be going to jail over, you know, racing. So we'll get back out. We'll do some more. Hell, you never know. Me and Michael may may get out and do something. You did data log, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll get back and look at this data log, and we'll go from there. <laughs> that did oh i don't think i told him that did seem to make a difference with the air cleaner yeah. um the car runs so good now um i don't know i mean it probably added another 20 30 horsepower to the car you can feel it it's definitely better now with that air filter so any of you guys that have a supercharged car a boosted car make sure that that air cleaner is clean because i'm telling you now it will choke this car down think about it if this filter is clogged up this thing requires a lot of cfm right if this thing's clogged you're just choking down the damn supercharger right and sometimes you'll even collapse your air filter you know on an na car that's not boosted you can get away with filters like this all day they're not going to hurt anything they'll still move enough air but not on a boosted car and i know that firsthand papa t's car if his filter gets dirty his car will not run good at all so got to keep them clean